my cousin, Pastor Lee, to the ministers and leadership of this church and to the Macedonian family. It's a great joy to stand before you this morning, believing that God has orchestrated this moment, this time. Yes, sir. Didn't come to preach, came to be preached to. All right. But because of your pastor and my obedience to him and my honor to him, I'm gladly to, uh, uh, to stand before you. We, uh, it is, it's humbling to stand here and to see uh, so many of you that I know, that I grew up with, and, and, and to see my, my sister, Shanna Faith, <laughs> and my nephew, Brother Lambert, and my niece, Wibby and niece, Morgan, and others, and friends that I went to high school with. And I'm sure some of you saying, it must be a God. And to my traveling uh, partner for some 40, for almost 41 years. Will make everything all right. All right. 
if you will continue to act as you always have acted. If you continue to act as you always have acted, you will continue to get what you always got. And if you want different results in your life or, you, or, or in your work, all you have to do is to change your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The key to any kind of improvement in life is the mind. Yes, sir. Have you ever studied for a test and you study only to pass the test? All right, sir. You're not studying to learn. You just want to pass the test. And when the test is over, what you learn starts. All right, sir. A wise man changes his mind, but a fool never. Anyone is changing whether they want to admit it or not. Yes, sir. Everybody come to that decision to have a change in the life. Yes, sir. A change for the good a change for the bad. Yes, sir. The world affects us. Changes us. Yes, sir. The world affects our thinking. Yes, sir. For example, <clears throat> there are millions of businesses and entrepreneurs trying to change our mind into their way of thinking. Yes, sir. Right. And they do it by by, by television, uh -huh. movies we watch. Uh -huh. It influences our children. Our commercial influence, what we buy, yes, and, and, and the companies pay millions and millions of dollars to produce things. Yes, sir. Just to change our way of thinking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, advertising. Uh -huh. Pay big bucks. Yes, sir. Movies. Uh -huh. Influence us. Uh -huh. Kids have watched. Uh, of violence, uh, uh, things that, that 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 call them to want to be like what they want yes, on television. Yes, that has nothing to do with the word of God. Yes, if you wish to know the mind of a person, just stick around, just for a little while, and watch the word that they say. All right. All right. When a person talks about what he's thinking. Why do we not talk about the word of God and Christ? Why not let him be our conversation down to the week? Let somebody know about Jesus. Rather than just on Sunday morning. Could it be that we're not thinking about him uh, until only on Sunday morning? Our thoughts and feelings influences our behavior. Yes, sir. Proverbs 23, 7 says, For as he speaketh uh -huh. in his heart, yeah. so is he. Uh -huh. And as he speaketh, so he is. Yeah. The thought life is the beginning of victory, victory or the beginning of defeat. Yes, Where's your mind? Uh -huh. What's on your mind? Hey. Victories are won and victories are lost yes, sir. at the thought uh -huh. and the beginning of the thinking of our mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The battles, battles are won right there and battles are lost uh -huh. right there at the thought of the beginning of the thinking of our mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Much is said in God's word about our thoughts and, uh -huh. and what we do with our thoughts. So as a man thinks, so as a man thinks, so is he. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And we have a tendency to allow others to control our that we say, oh, they made me mad. They made me upset. They did this. And because they did this, I'm going to do that. 
particular set of folks. It's not just talking about uh, male or female. It's not gender based. It's not just talking about white folks or, or black folks. All right, it's talking sir. about all people. Yes, to love with the love of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. Many would say, well, you know, I, I just can't help myself. Uh, <laughs> God, God's word says, yes, you can. Yeah, right. If God's word says that you can, then you can. But, 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 but there's some steps that you have to take. And, and, and we look at how God allows things to come in our life. How he allowed things to happen in our lives. Yes, sir. Even understanding that the word says that all things work together for the good yes, to them that love him and call according to the purpose. Yes, so yes. all things work together for the good. Yes. And God is all knowing God. Yes. And he knows the beginning and the end and the first and the last. Yes. So all things work together for the good. But don't you know that you know about that bitch, your friend or your co-worker the loves on you? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. He said it's for the good. Uh -huh. yes. If you fall down, what? He'll pick you up. Yes, he will. He said that he is our provider. Uh -huh. That he is our way yes, sir. That he is our burden back. That he's our everything. Uh -huh. He's there for you Praise and me. Your mind, your mind, uh -huh. your mind is sort of like driving a cup. Uh -huh. You got a stirring wheel uh -huh. that controls the direction yeah. where you're going. Yes, sir. If you turn it to the right, the car will go what? Turn it to the left, it'll go up. It's the same principle applies to our walk in Christ. Yes, sir. We cannot say one thing as a Christian right. and do another. Anytime that we are vulnerable, yeah. he is always on the perimeter. 
renew it all your mind. That's right. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Our mind is renewed by God's work. Yes, sir. Yes. It, it is not renewed by putting ungodly things in it. It is not renewed by watching television, our favorite show every week. Our favorite show may need to be unbecome our favorite show. Your mind is renewed, or our mind is renewed by the Word of God. Not by, 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 by playing on our phone these little games. The enemy has thought of all kinds of stuff to grab out the attention yes, of our mind. Yes, uh, TikTok. TikTok. Uh, uh, something else about it. Uh, 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 video games. That's what I was talking about. I don't know if they got video games now. They say, uh, uh, the choice is out. Nobody else. You can't say nobody else made me do it. Nobody else fought. The choice is out alone. To, uh, too much of everything, uh, uh, too much of anything, brother, can be a bad thing. Apostle Paul said, he said, all things are lawful for me. But all things are not helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any of Yes, sir. Things that are lawful can dominate us and bring us under the power if we let. Yes, sir. Ever since God spoke to Adam and Eve, explaining to them how to think, so they would know how to live successful and happy lives. There has been a consistent battle over who will control the thought and process of man's mind.